John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures. Series testing, successful hunting. Today I'm going to be testing another Grim Reaper mechanical. And this time it's going to be the Pro Series Three Blade Whitetail Special. I've long been a fan of Grim Reaper. I've used them in the field. I've tested a lot of their heads here on my channel. You can check out some of those videos if you'd like. But thanks to a viewer who sent in this Whitetail Special Pro Series to me, I'm going to be able to put it to the test using all my, uh, my protocol and tests that I'm using for 2021. And for a detailed description of those tests and kind of the thought behind them, please read the, the description in the, um, the description box right below this video. But let's zoom on in here, go through some of the design features and specs specifications and then put it to the test and as always in 2021 I'm using my Bowtech SR6 set at 72 pounds and I'm using uh, Bishop FOC King Arrows 460 grains. Here's a good look at this broadhead close up and like all Grim Reapers it just has a really cool tight low profile in flight. This being the Pro Series has this extra cool tip right here and I really like their Pro Series tip. I've used all their tips. My favorite are the Pro Series by far. I think they're one of the best on the market because they're all steel, they're super durable, chisel tip in that dimension, in that sense that they're tough like that and bone splitting, but man, they are really sharp and they're really pointy. <laughs> I've stuck them in concrete and they've held together and penetrated really well. So I really like the Pro Series. I like that that's all steel. I like that the blades are 440C stainless steel, 0.035 inches thick. The ferrules are aluminum and the retention cup there is aluminum as well. In this Whitetail Special, the cutting diameter is a full two inches. So three blades with a two inch cutting diameter means that you're getting three inches of cut. So three inches of tissues being cut, that's gonna be a wound channel that's not gonna be easy to close up. You'll also notice that in the closed position, like I said earlier, it's a very low profile in flight, but you have enough of the tip exposed at the, at the end there to be able to not worry about an angled shot. That that's gonna penetrate at an angle and then allow the blades to still deploy. Now I will say four come in a pack and of the four that I tested, only two of them spin true. The other two had a bit of a wobble. It wasn't like a major wobble, but it was enough of a wobble that I would not feel, feel comfortable shooting them past, I don't know, 25 yards or something like that. But the other two spin very well and I know they'd be very accurate at even longer ranges. Now I do want to note too that not having O-rings, not having a uh, retention clip is so nice to, to not have to worry about that stuff in the field. And some people have complained about the blades being hard to deploy or taking a, a lot of your energy away upon deployment. I really haven't found that to be a problem in a hunting situation. And if a lot of the energy is being taken away from that, then that'll be revealed in my penetration tests. That's where the rubber meets the road. So I'm eager to put this head to the test. Three hundred. The Whitetail Special penetrates seven and a half inches. Three hundred. It penetrated through 41 layers. Now, I will note that the last two inches or so of the broadhead are like a, like a super sharp nail, and they're not the blades. So the nose sticks through a lot of those layers. But nonetheless, that's how I measured it. It penetrated through 41 layers. 300. Here's the head after the test in the MDF. And on the first shot, this, uh, this retention cup right here really bulged out. And so I knew on the next shot it was gonna give way, and indeed it did. You can see it just busted apart there on the second shot into the MDF. And two of the blades became dislodged and came out. And they didn't break, but they just like came out of the assembly there. That's what's happened on uh, other heads that I've tested by Grim Reaper is sometimes that cup 
just breaks right there. It kind of seems to be a weak point on a really hard impact, especially with big long blades like this two inch whitetail special. As you can see, the broadhead stuck in the concrete, and you may have seen the arrow bounce back. What happened is the insert came out like the uh, epoxy bond broke there, but the arrow and the insert are in perfect shape. I just need to re-epoxy that in there. But the broadhead held together very well, and you see that the tip is embedded really deeply in the concrete. Now, the blades never impacted the concrete, and that's probably why it, it stayed together like it did, but still, it's impressive nonetheless. And as for the head itself, you can see that it held up relatively well. Like I just showed, the tip got embedded in the concrete and I had to unscrew it. I couldn't pull that out, I really tried, but it was embedded deeply. And uh, you could replace that with another tip. However, the ferrule did get bent, you know, that's that aluminum. It's just gonna bend in a hard impact like that. The blades barely impacted the concrete. Actually, only one of them really impacted it uh, significantly, and it, it got a bit bent up there. I don't know if you can make that out. But overall, man, this held up really well for a mechanical into that concrete. So what'd you think of the Grim Reaper Pro Series Whitetail Special? You know, in broadheads, pretty much everything's a trade-off. If you wanna get a really big cut, then you're probably not gonna be as durable. Or if you want a really big cut, you're not gonna penetrate as deeply. You know, everything's a trade-off like that. But this is a head that if you're looking for a maximum cut size on maybe a smaller animal, like a smaller whitetail, or on a turkey or something like that, this could be a fantastic head for that. So you check out the score sheet uh, that, that follows this video. I always post the score sheets there. Check it out and look at the areas that matter to you the most. Consider your bow and arrow setup and specifications and what kind of animal you're pursuing and see if this might be a good choice for you.